Hi, I'm Claire, and today I have an original tag for you. This is a book tag inspired by the characters from Game of Thrones. Now, I'm a huge fan of the HBO TV show and the book series by George R. R. Martin, so I just wanted to do something to celebrate the return of Game of Thrones to our screens this week. So this is a pretty simple tag, I've got 10 questions for you, each based off a specific Game of Thrones character and what their traits are. There's not going to be any spoilers in this video, because even though I'm referring to some Game of Thrones characters, I'm going to mostly be talking about other works. So let's get started. Question 1. Arya Stark a character that's all about revenge. For this one, I'm going to say The Count of Monte Cristo, from the novel of the same name by Alexandre Dumas, who also wrote The Three Musketeers. This is a classic of French literature, and it's the story of Edmond Dantes, whose life was going really, really well up until the point where a bunch of jealous people in his life conspired against him to send him to prison on a false charge and he spends 15 years in prison meets other prisoners and learns secrets finally he manages to escape the prison and return to his previous life but no one recognizes him because it's been so long and he's managed to acquire a small fortune and he uses it to take his revenge on the people that have wronged him in the past. It's a really good and fun adventure story, but I don't think it's as well known in the UK as The Three Musketeers is. Number two, Lord Varys the Spider, a book featuring political intrigue. The Hundred Thousand Kingdom by N.K. Jemisin. The book revolves around Yena, who has come to the capital city because she's been summoned by the ruler, who is a relative of hers. She doesn't know why she's been summoned, but when she arrives, she discovers that it was in fact because she has been declared now to be in the line of succession, even before the ruler who's very old passes away. So she has to learn about these people and their customs and navigate the murky depth of this whole succession business and figure out all the secrets of her past that no one wants to tell her about. Number three, King Joffrey, a villain you just love to hate. Who else but Bellatrix Lestrange from the Harry Potter series? She is such a heinous and twisted character, and at the same time she's so entertaining because she so clearly just wants to get into Voldemort's pants. And that's all that she cares about. Let's be honest, I cheered louder when Bellatrix was dispatched than when Voldemort lost to Harry and peace was restored to the wizarding world. Number four, Jon Snow, a coming of age story. The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danforth. The story is obviously about Cameron Post. It starts when she's very young. She loses her parents in a car accident and she kind of has to deal with this survivor's guilt and at the same time the fact that she's starting to realize that she's a lesbian. And ultimately her very religious aunt, who she now lives with, finds out that she's been kissing girls and sends her to one of these uh, deprogramming camps for gay people where she meets a few other young people and kind of has to come into her own. It was a really interesting book, not only because of the gay camp aspect, which is kind of disturbing, but also because it showed life in a small American town, which is not really something I have experience of. Number five, Jamie and Cersei. A ship you just can't get behind. Now, I'm probably going to get some flack for this one, but I have to go with Katniss and Peter from The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. I'm not equating this ship to Jamie and Cersei and how messed up the two of them are, but I just can't really believe the relationship between them. I'm not particularly Teen Gale either. I like Gale as a character, especially in the first and second books, but I was never really convinced that Katniss was in love with Peter, and I don't see necessarily why she should be in a relationship at all. Number six, the Lady Elena of House Tyrell, a kick-ass older character. 
I may be being quite predictable here, but I'm going to say Granny Weatherwax from Terry Pratchett's Discworld series. I'm still making my way through the Discworld, which is of course a very, very long series, but I've read a few of the witches' books and I really just love Granny Weatherwax's character. You can see that even if she weren't a witch, Granny Weatherwax would be someone who is not to be trifled with. I just love her little moments of wisdom throughout the series. It always makes me happy when she's on the page. Number seven, Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen. A book with dragons in it. When I was younger, I was absolutely obsessed with the Dragon Riders of Pern series by Anne McCaffrey, but I don't think those books have aged particularly well. However, one series about dragons which I think is absolutely awesome and everyone should read is The Temeraire Books by Naomi Novik. The first book in the series is called Temeraire in the UK and His Majesty's Dragon in the US. So the books are an alternate history where the point of divergence is that there are dragons around and they serve in the military. We are in the Napoleonic Wars and our hero is Captain Will Lawrence who is in the Navy but he acquires a dragon's egg by mistake and it hatches and now he's got a dragon and he has to go be in the Dragon Air Force instead. It's just an amazing series. Just talking about it now, I want nothing more than to go and reread all of them. <laughs> Number eight is Sansa Stark, a character you grew to love. And for this one, I'm going to say Anne Elliot from Persuasion by Jane Austen. I grew to love Anne as a character much quicker than I did Sansa, but it's true that when I first started reading Persuasion, I thought Anne was just a little bit bland. The rest of her family was just so completely awful and ridiculous that you had to feel for her, but I didn't really feel invested in her story. But throughout the book, you see Anne becoming more and more of her own person and kind of standing up for herself and being amazing. And now she's probably my favorite of Jane Austen's protagonists. Question nine, Melisandre, a favorite magic system. I'm going to say Allomancy, which is the magic system in Brandon Sanderson's Mistborn trilogy. This is a magic system based on metals, where the people who have a magical ability can ingest a certain type of metal and then burn it within their body to acquire a specific superpower. And there are a whole bunch of different powers that combine together to make a, a cool team of magicians. Then there's also the Mistborns who can do all of the different metallic magics. They spend part of the books researching new metals that can have new abilities and making these magical discoveries as if the magic were in fact a science. Finally, question 10, Tyrion Lannister a character whose weapon is their mind. Astronaut Mark Watney from The Martian by Andy Weir. He's part of a Martian mission and they've only been there for a couple of days exploring when there's a freak sandstorm. They have to get away from Mars because the storm is too dangerous. But during the escape, Watney gets lost. They think he's dead. They hightail it out of there and he wakes up a few hours later and they're gone. So all he has is what they came to Mars with and his own wits and knowledge. He spends the entire novel trying to figure out how he's going to communicate with her to get enough food so that he can survive. It's an absolutely fascinating read. So this was my Game of Thrones characters book tag. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun filming this video. I'm going to tag Julianne from Bookish Bits and also Elizabeth from Books and Pieces. If you'd like to also do this tag then that would be awesome. Please let me know so that I can go and see your video. I'd love to see everybody's take on these questions. Also let me know in the comments below who your favorite Game of Thrones character is. I know it's really hard to pick I'm pretty torn myself between Arya and Tyrion. I love them both. If you'd like to see more from me, you can check out my Harry Potter Spells book tag video over here or a nice book haul over there. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button for more videos from me every week. I've been Claire, thanks so much for watching and see you soon.